Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another weekly tip video. This week's tip video is more of a technology preview to cover some aspects of the Umbrel home server I recently set up in addition to my Synology NAS. I mentioned this in a recent newsletter and this month's magazine, and I've had a lot of requests from members to cover the topic. The Umbrel home server has its own app store with a ton of useful apps, but I really wanted to focus on just two aspects. Now you may have already seen shows 1239 and 1241 covering the Lightning Network, the decentralized payment system that sits on top of the Bitcoin network, providing fast and virtually free transactions. The primary reason for me choosing to set up the Umbrel home server was to experiment running my own Bitcoin node, as well as my own Lightning node from home. Now, I'm not in any way suggesting that everyone will need to or want to do the same. And I'm not going to go into great depth and provide you with step-by-step -step instructions, but enough people have expressed an interest to briefly cover it this week. So let's take a look at the Umbrel home server. Umbrel have done a fantastic job on their website. So I'm actually going to use the website just to describe the hardware to you. Uh, it's uh, really nicely done. I'm using Arc as my browser. Let me just drag down. As you can see from the USB port, it's a tiny device. It's a £549 shipped to the UK. You will need to pay any uh, customs charges though. Uh, I had to do that. Also, it does come with, at least the version I got did come with a US plug but I had a UK adapter to plug it in. But if I just keep scrolling down, there's just some information about why you might want to get an Umbral server. This is the motherboard. It's actually based on an Intel chip, a 2.9 gigahertz quad core CPU, has 16 gig of RAM. If I scroll down a bit further, you'll see it's got gigabit ethernet. It has two terabytes of super fast NVMe storage. And it also has three USB 3 ports as well. It has a built-in fan. It's whisper quiet and it is very, very quiet. Uh, I have it on my desk and you can't hear it at all. You can get it up and running in 30 seconds. So basically you plug in an ethernet cable and then you plug in the power cable. Then you can access the system using a browser from your Mac. Just visit umbrel.local, which is uh, quite neat actually. You don't need an external keyboard. You don't need uh, an external monitor. Everything is done via a browser. Let me take you through the installation process. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.